In today's episode, I'm gonna be trying out some new products and washing our Lexus. Now this isn't a weekend wash, I'm actually washing this midweek. It's Wednesday, Wednesdays are usually my day off. I run errands, I do other things, but I've kind of neglected our vehicle for a while. I got some new products from a, uh, a, a new company that started up and I want to use some of those products today, as well as the glove box products that came in from Wizards. So the Wizards detailing company also did kind of a takeover on the uh, glove box detail. If you guys wanna get your hands on either some of those products or try out the monthly subscription from Detail Glove Box, then check out the links down below, enter code Miranda20, you'll get 20% off of your first subscription box. The cool thing about that is you get to try different products each month, it's pretty awesome. So if you're into subscriptions like that, then definitely go check it out. And you will also be able to win a box this month's box, but I'll be doing a giveaway so that you can win one of those boxes as well. So look forward to that in the video. So we had the Lexus pulled out there, ready to wash. I got my buckets all filled. The hose is ready to go, but let's take a look at the products that we have. So here are the products that came in the glove box, Wizards products. We have their bug release, the bug remover. We have their tire and vinyl shine, and then their mist and shine. I actually did get to use these the other day. The bug release is great stuff. I'm not sure about the tire and vinyl shine, I'll give it a try on these tires. I tried on some other tires the other day and some tires just don't take well to certain dressings. For whatever reason, the tire didn't like these dressings. We'll try it on our vehicle today. And uh, I may not use this one today because I have some other products that I wanna use on the exterior, but we'll definitely use those too. Now the other products that we're going to be talking about are from a new startup company called DIY Detail. Now this company, I believe, is kind of a collaboration between Ivan LaCroix uh, and Nick McGurk from Hawks Pro Detailing. Now they put together this line for a reason. They wanted detailing products that are easy to use, cuts out all of the confusion that you may get with certain products. And I know there are so many other products, why do we need another line? Don't worry about that. Try different products. If it works for you, great, stick with them. Sometimes I'll have one product from a certain company that I like and I just stick with it and the other products are just kind of like, man, I don't need them, I don't, I don't use them, but that one specific product is something that I may use. So maybe in this lineup or in this lineup, there's one product that you really enjoy using, but it's up to you to kind of find out, does it work for you or not? So here's what we're gonna to use today. We're going to use their incredible suds. I have already used this shampoo and it is insane. The dilution ratio on this is nuts. I'll show you how we dilute. And we also have a rinseless wash. If you know Ivan LaCroix, he loves his rinseless washing. And he explains the benefits of how a rinseless wash can really help your business as well. And of course, it all depends on what type of business you are. Mobile, shop-based, and also your region. Um, if you really can't do traditional washes, then a rinseless wash is something that can definitely uh, improve your business and, and really help you uh, not waste water and not deal with water issues as well in certain states and countries. And this stuff also has different emulsifiers in it that you can actually use as a bug remover as well, which is very, very cool. So we'll show using this product later on. Now we also have their Quick Beads. Now Quick Beads is a unique product. It can be used in almost any way. A wet application on a wet panel, a dry application, spray on, rinse off, all sorts of uses for this product, which is very, very cool. And it can go on everything from paint, glass, plastic, chrome, everything. And we also have their ceramic gloss, which is a more durable protection than just the quick beads. This you would use as your base layer, quick beads you use as your maintenance. And then we have their interior ceramic. Now I was very interested in this product because you can use it on all surfaces, hard surfaces, vinyl, leather, plastic, as well as textiles, your fabrics and carpets. So of course I won't be using this today, but you will see this later on on other jobs where we do protect the interior. So look out for further videos showcasing all these different products. Now let's get to washing the vehicle. It's not horrible. We don't drive this as often as we used to with our other daily drivers and vehicles, but it's been through a couple of rainstorms, so it's got a little bit of junk on it. The rear area is always worse.
So let's grab some bug release. And before I use this, I am going to pre-rinse. Only because we just drove this and things are kind of hot on the panel because it is hot and humid today. Also, I'm gonna get plans to build this for you guys because I just did this out of my own imagination. So what I'll do is I'll do some measurements here and see if I can get you some plans so that you can build one of these things yourself. It's basically an outdoor work platform, which I love. Let's use some of the bug remover. We did have some bugs on here that I saw. Now you can opt to use an all-purpose cleaner. That does remove bugs, it, it eats them up, it releases them from the paint. But if you have protection on here, then it can compromise it, where dedicated bug removers usually don't. They will just attack the bugs, and it usually has an enzyme or an emulsifier in it that helps emulsify bugs without hurting protection. You see some other junk up here in the hood too that I'm gonna hit. And let that eat for a couple of seconds. You can actually see, you can see it eating away at the bugs, which is very cool. It's really eating away at that one. So let it sit for a minute, a couple of minutes. If you're out in the full sun, don't let it dry. Just be wary of that. And if you have stubborn bugs, just spray some more and agitate a little bit. But they pretty much all came off. And as you can see, the beading is still, yeah, doing really well on the paint in the front here. So it doesn't like kill the protection. That lays down a thick blanket of foam. Like, it's thick. I don't think you need any more than one ounce in a 16 ounce bottle. And if I fill this up to 32 ounces, probably an ounce and a half, maybe two ounces, you can get two vehicles out of that. Again, it's, it's an ounce per vehicle. It's insane. Like, very, very concentrated stuff. You don't need it any thicker than that. Like, that's shaving cream. That's amazing. Maybe it's this foam cannon, I don't know. MJJC Foam Cannon is my favorite. It just is. So let me know in the comments down below, are you a, oh, I just soaked my foot. Are you a traditional wash guy with the rinsing and foaming and all of that? And for your business, I mean, or if you're an enthusiast, or do you like rinseless washing? Does that work for you in your business? I'm curious to find out about the business side. You can get some pretty nasty vehicles that you just, you kind of have to do a traditional wash on, or at least a really good pre-wash, and then go to using rinseless. But at that point, you've already used chemical and, and a lot of water. And so what works for you? Traditional washing or rinses washing? And again, let me know like what type of business you are. Are you doing like the washes, the maintenance washes, full details, like why do you use one instead of the other? All that information, share down below because I think that's helpful for other people too. It, it feels nice and slick, but oh wow, I can really, I can feel the paint. It's gritty. I gotta do something to this soon. I just don't have time to do it today or this week. Because I'm actually, this week, getting this thing uh, tinted, fully tinted. A friend of mine, local uh, detailer and tinter, actually, he just started doing window tinting, is going to fully tint this thing with a uh, ceramic tint all the way around, as dark as he can legally get it, as well as a UV blocker for the windshield. I'm really excited about that. I have to say, this soap is a pleasure to use. I am not... Um, the type of person that uses their soaps or their shampoos to actually clean the paint. In this instance, it, it is, because I don't need to do a pre-wash in my own vehicle, it just doesn't call for it. So I rely on my pre-washing, my APC rinsing, to actually do the bulk of the cleaning. The foaming part is more just for the contact wash to make it safer, because at that point, there's very minimal junk on the paint after my thorough pre-washing and APC rinsing that when I go to foaming, I'm not looking for cleaning power. I'm just looking for lubricity and, and the foaming action. And to me, and I know there's an argument to be made about uh, lubricity and foam, and if, you know, just because it foams up well, does it mean it's, you know, lubricating? There is quite an argument to be made on that, but from my experience, the two are connected. I can feel it, I can experience it. 
when you have thick foam, you have bubbles. When you have bubbles, you have cushion. Is it necessarily lubricating? Yeah, but the cushion and the bubbles do lend to safer washing. Now, I had someone comment this really funny comment. And I'm like, this didn't make any sense. You know, basically saying, oh, once you put the uh, wash mitt, it's gonna break all those bubbles and, uh, and then you're scratching the paint. Prove it. Yes, yes, yes. So if you're interested in these products, I will have links down below. Go check them out with the DIY products and pick up whatever you want. You don't have to pick up all of them. Pick up a soap or the quick beads or the ceramic gloss, whichever one that, that you want that you're curious about. I don't recommend getting like all of the products right away. Pick one, go from there. If you like it, choose more and then see what you like. So let's take a quick look at the panels now. So both sides are actually sheeting more than beading. Even the side here with the to the max wax, you can see it kind of sheets. It does bead a little bit, but it definitely sheets more than anything. Interestingly, the hood also is sheeting more than beading. So the gloss and wax side here is actually sheeting a little bit faster than the side with the to the max wax. That's, that's kind of interesting. I don't... Like it sheets much faster. Yeah, that sheets slow. That sheets really fast. Yeah, who knows? And then the side here does sheet pretty fast as well. I know, it's very hard to see on white paint, but you can see it beads, but it'll also sheet just like that. I mean, so overall, I mean, the protection is still holding on. So we already do have some beads here on the paint, as I showed you. Some areas are beading, some areas are sheeting so that they're left a little bit more dry. Now, the way I'm going to apply the quick beads is a spray on and dry off method. Now I know some are going to say that's gonna affect how your protection is doing on the paint. You're not gonna know if it's that or if it's the protection. You know what, to me, it does not matter. To my customers, it does not matter. As long as your car is staying cleaner, longer, beating up, sheeting, you're not getting water spots, you're not having things stick to the paint as much, that is what we're looking for. So we're not doing durability tests here. This is the real world. Detailing businesses don't worry about durability tests. You just don't need to. When you're first starting, you do because you're trying to find like a product that lasts long, but you will eventually come to understand that gaining maintenance customers that you can have either monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly, those are gonna be the best because you don't need a product that even goes past three months if they are coming back regularly. You don't want it to go any longer than that because customers, people do tend to kind of forget about their vehicle. And if you tell them you have protection on there that'll last six months or a year, in their minds, they now think I don't have to do anything to it other than just wash it and who cares and it should be perfect. That is incorrect thinking and that's what gets a lot of detailers into that weird mindset or disappoints a lot of detailers and customers. Maintenance is key with everything. And that is also kind of the bottom line when it comes to these products, because these are designed for not just detailers, but DIY. It means do it yourself. So you can learn how to maintain your own vehicle, or if you don't have time for that, no problem. That's where we come in. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to just mist it on. I'm going to mist it onto the towel and I'm simply going to dry it. And it's nice to have a good drying towel as well. It absorbs water and this will just add a layer of gloss, slickness and protection. Ooh, I can already feel, even though the paint feels gritty, like I can, I can feel the grit, it feels slick still to the touch, which is interesting. So an easy to use product, great for maintenance details.
it figures I just got the car washed and even though it's sunny and hot out and nice, I can hear a storm coming. Yeah, we're gonna have thunderstorms. Yay. Oh, that's fire. So I'm also going to use quick beads on the wheels. So let's use the Wizard's uh, tire and vinyl shine first. And I am going to apply it right onto the tire first. I usually do it onto the brush, but I'm gonna put a good amount on here and allow it to soak in. And I'm just gonna clean off the wheel a little bit and just apply some quick beads onto the wheel. We'll let that soak in. I'll come back in a few minutes. All right, I'm putting on a second application. The first application kind of dries to a very, very natural finish. It just looks like a clean tire. Uh, I want just a little bit more, a little bit more, not necessarily shine, but a little bit more satin look and not just dry natural. I want a little bit of a satin natural, if that makes sense. Everybody's got their own sheen that they like on tires. You can even just wipe this down. It'll just look like a clean rubber tire uh, without looking shiny or greasy or glossy or anything like that. So a second application definitely is needed um, if you want that look. But if you don't care, you can apply it, kind of let it soak in and then just wipe it down and it'll just look like a clean, dry, natural, almost matte finish on the tire. So if that is what you like, yeah, this can achieve it. Now this is not just for tire, oops, that's the bug release. So this is not just for tires, this is actually for interior as well. That is why you're not gonna get heavy, heavy buildup um, and greasiness and, and sling and nastiness because it's a water-based formula and it's not going to, you know, attract junk onto the paint like some solvent-based formulas would. So this can be used on the interior as well. <sighs> So the interior is cleaned up. Now, if you don't like this stuff on tires, it does incredibly well on the interior. It's not gonna leave any shininess or greasiness or slipperiness. I even used it on the mats and all I did was spray it on and I kind of scrubbed it into some of the little corners just to kind of clean it and I used it kind of like a vinyl cleaner. And it does an incredible job and it does not leave it slippery. In fact, it feels dry, it feels grippy. This stuff on Vinyl mats like this, amazing. And it actually kind of cleans it as well. I'm impressed. I actually really like this for a WeatherTech or rubber mat cleaner and conditioner. And it doesn't leave anything slimy or greasy. Now see in there, I can actually go in there and scrub a little bit more, but I'm, I'm just not going to because I don't need to. I'm gonna be using this tonight anyway and I'm gonna get it all dirty. But I am impressed that it cleaned these WeatherTechs and condition them without slipperiness. Of course, I'd, I don't think I'd trust any type of dressing on the pedals, of course, don't do that. But if you do use it, just test it. You know, wipe it on there, wipe it off, and make sure it's not slippery. I'm impressed. That's awesome stuff for WeatherTech and rubber mats. I have to roll this back. No. There, I love this thing. So guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Now, if you want to win this box of Wizards products, then you have to go to the link up in the corner and check out that video and tell me what product did I use to clean the leather seats 
in that minivan. Hashtag down below detail glove box. Make sure to hashtag it with the correct answer and I will choose the winner about a week, maybe a week and a half from now, and it will be chosen on Instagram. But don't worry if you don't have Instagram. If you win, you will be notified by me personally. Ignore any other you won and it's some other weird thing on there with you have to follow a link and do it. No, ignore that. You will get a message from me directly. If you win, you will be messaged by me on your comment saying you won, just email me. And then that way I'll get your info. I'll forward it on to uh, the detail glove box and they will get you a box out pronto. So if you've enjoyed the video and I hope you have, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss stuff. Check out any of the links down below and don't forget to use that code at the detail glove box as well as code Miranda10 at Car Supplies Warehouse and you'll get 10% off. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next time. Take care.